Such bad speed. You, you have to make sure you punish Sonic for his stupid approaches and his very uh, reckless options. Yeah, definitely, but this matchup definitely is just very hard for Falco sometimes, just especially when Sonic has a frame two air dodge and Falco a obviously brain. known as a combo character and not gonna be finding his super crazy combos too often on Sonic. But, you know, if you get enough hard call-outs, Falco is, he, he's a man of miracles, you know, he can always come back. Oh! Being able to rack up so much percent, and now... The upsets are started. Oh, okay, never mind. Going to stack it up too, combo? Yeah, unfortunate landing on the platform there, but Masa, obviously, a uh, very good Falco player, just introducing the players, and Tygate, a very good, recently sponsored prodigy of Simapa, so defending his home tournament over here against Masa. And uh, I'm surprised Masa... Whoa, he tried to get a huge call out there with the side B, but did right there. Yeah, not gonna find it. And, oh, okay, trying to Firebird and wow. trying to call out uh, Taike's landing there. I mean, uh, recovery, but not gonna be able to find it. I like the idea, a though. A few very well-timed aerials, and he's already back in the game. One back air, he's Ooh. done. Oh, oh I saw roll. it. I saw it. He's trying to call out the roll up till into back air. Yeah, just unfortunately not gonna be able to find it correctly. Oh, but I do reckless think side B. Yeah, it just Masa is definitely the Falco when you think of of great two frame. When you think about good neutral Falcos, but unfortunately he's gonna get hit by that two frame here, and Tiger's gonna take the lead, and you never want Sonic to take the lead in this matchup. And this is exactly why he just started standing there as soon as he got it, and he has no need to approach whatsoever now. And approaching his Falco Love definitely a lot harder than it would seem. Oh, I guess. Running away here, just trying to whiff punish as hard as possible, and that's exactly what you get when you try and play in whiff punish playstyle. Is you find a good punish, but now Masa Great gonna DI. find the up tilt in the back air here. Oh, the fire! Never try to catch him, but Fair's oh, gonna confirm kills. the kill. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's definitely gonna kill. He's very well placed, Fair end of the stage. Had to get really good DI to avoid that one. But hey, a few up tilts, Falco, you're back in the game. You just gotta make sure you don't get fooled by the speed here. And you don't get hasty and try to approach. Yeah, definitely. It just adds Falco most of the time. Sometimes you'll just throw out an up tilt, throw out a move, but uh, just to be spacing, you know, with a forward air perhaps. The laser's but good. In right a matchup here. like this, it's definitely more of a hard call out that you need in order to call out Sonic and you just can't make any mistakes here, but also gonna be able to catch Taike here, not gonna find too much off the combo, but oh, not gonna find so much off these combos again, but Orange Match is gonna send him off stage and Another bad wow, thing about Falco this matchup attack. is just the off stage Oh, if we part saw a spike, that would have been sick. Yeah, just that's definitely what he needed in order to come back in this stock deficit. I mean, this laser deficit here. Spike! Oh. oh. So unfortunately, going to be the Wicked. Not going to be able to take it. And goes for the deep edge guard. Taika going to find it, though. Nice job on Taika. Not going to be up an entire stock on Masa here. I oh, think Masa's wow. fine. He just has to make sure. Don't rush it. Oh, the two frame. Hit that that would have been such a rough spot for Masa to be in. Definitely not death, but gonna be hard. To come back from him, to go for a two, two frame again. He's not getting the two frames here, but I think that's a good adaptation by Masa. Masa, see right now, he's patient, he's chill, he's relaxed, he's not approaching. That's great use of the shine there. And Taike just playing the left side of the stage. He has no need to approach on Masa here. Masa definitely knows this, but he's of course gonna need to have something to do pretty soon. But you just trying to think of what currently and Taiki's pressure is a little bit too oh, overwhelming right, right now. Right up tilt. Especially gonna get a the scary mileage. Ah, oh, gonna get oh for the nice back air, and right now you gotta confirm this kill. Oh, he went for the hard call out. Yeah, fortunately for Taiki, he's gonna be a little bit too far to the right to get hit by that there. Tries to call out the side beam with the force smash. He's gonna be crashing a little bit too far to the left there, but gonna be able to call out Caught the jump. That jump with the forward air. And nice, Taika just playing that matchup masterfully there, just doing the edge guard, just with punishing just perfectly. And he's going to be able to take the first game because of it. Great, great job there by Taika. He did not put himself in a bad position because Falco, like you said, he can rack up the damage very quickly and he can get himself right back in the game. So right there, as Sonic, you've got to kill the momentum. you got to kill the momentum. you got to know when to hit the brakes and when to hit the gaps as Sonic. And that's exactly what he did. All right, getting into game two here. We are on FD. FD. I can see Falco wants more space. He doesn't like the platforms. On FD, there's a chance where you can really extend those combos and, and, and play your game. Uh, yeah, just most people when they play Falco would assume that FD would be extremely bad, but some Falcos do prefer FD on some stages. So we'll see if Sonic is a stage that 
Sakura, a player like Masa, would prefer that stage. No, oh, I, no, all those jumps were so sick. Yeah, Spike? unfortunate timing on the jumps there because he knew exactly when he spot dodged, but Masa just unfortunately failing to the short pop timing there and not going to be able to find the dare into there. But Masa had the right idea, and now he is up 90% on the stock. All he needs now is a couple more percent and an up tilt back here in order to secure it. And all oh, just so good at trying to call out these air dodges, but not going to be able to find anything on those. I just trying to call out the air dodge, gonna be able to make that through it. Oh Whoa. no! Very unfortunate timing. Air dodge, Edgar. Oh, here. it doesn't matter. Nice little dip in the back air to fully confirm the kill. I think he was gonna make it back to ledge. So he had to get that back. Oh, so risky! Yeah, that was just such a good play by Taike, but unfortunately not gonna pay out for him. Had a good idea, but Masa is just a little bit too patient, and all oh, that force smash definitely gonna have a lot of shields done and a little bit too far to find a grab though. Nice thing, I'm gonna jump over the spin dash here. Smasa loves to play neutral and has this character. It's very unorthodox in the style of Sako the most. He's playing it perfectly right now. Oh, nice, gonna be able to avoid the forward air. Let's have an air again. Oh, tries to call out the roll with the up tilt, but a little bit too far there. Tries to do a drag down there. Nice shield patience by Taike. Firebird playing neutral, but I guess it was a little bit of a distraction. It led into a nice parry up throw, and the shine could not connect there. You're gonna get a big fat punch in the face. Yeah, just calling out that air dodge. Just Taike just absolutely just scouting out the fear that Masa has, especially when he gets hit by a move here, and gonna be able to punish him accordingly for that. Nice gonna be able to get a phantasm off, but not gonna be able to find too much of a counter. Wow! I, uh, Masa just finding so many of these carries so right now. Just clean, so clean. And he's, he's getting those conversions, like you said. He got the illusion into the up air, and he got a parry into up throw. He's really getting those hard call outs, like you said. And that should have been a kill right there. This is going to be a kill. Oh, if he just went for Firebird, I would scream. <laughs> I don't think that would have hit Sonic, especially when he's got a frame two air dodge. But, you know, that it, it, it might have been a Hail Mary option. But Masa definitely going to try and play it. Not too risky right now, playing things safe. Now, oh, nice parry. Just Masa is crazy at these parries right now, because especially with Sonic, when he's got so many spin dashes, and not really a parryable character on the Down tilt is in play to kill. Down tilt is also in play. You gotta be careful with Sonic. Yeah, but it's definitely gonna be hard to hit a down tilt, especially when Taike is gonna be zipping and dashing and in the air for a majority of the stocks. Nice. He tried to get a forward air and, 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 and like try to back away so he wouldn't get shield grab, but unfortunately he didn't space it correctly. Oh, finding an up throw. Nice DI by Taike. Not going to be able to get down killed tilt, by that. Down tilt, you're done. Yeah, nice down tilt. Oh, it's a good punish there on Taike. Now Masa's going to be in the lead here, which is crucial in the Sonic matchup. Nice parry. Masa's finding so many of these right now. Just scouting out so many of these options by Taike, but Uppy is definitely going to be a very good option at disadvantage against most characters and especially Zako. Good combo character. Now oh, Masa's playing it safe with the lasers right now. No need to approach. Just Hacking on as little percent as possible. Exactly. Keep chipping at the damage. You just don't want to approach Sonic and smack him. Oh, he almost got smacked there. The big fat punch. But you can see the, see the lasers are disrupting the movement. It's ruining the game plan. That's exactly what you need to oh. do. Nice long oh. on with there with the homing attack. And Taika's is going to be able to find the stock. Masa definitely could have air dodged it. But if I'm Masa, though, I wouldn't get you know uh, nervous. You still have in the lead, and you got great stage control. Yeah, definitely. Especially with oh, oh my nice God. beat there into forward air. Now Taika gonna see be off there. stage here. There, it's gonna be there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just gonna be able to call out that air dodge, and Masa gonna be able to take that stock. Oh. Ooh, you see that? I like sense it. I smelled it. <laughs> yeah, I smelled it. I'm an ex Falco man. I, I love seeing the just fantastic hard read on the dares. Yeah, oh. it just Taika there without a jump. Just not many options there besides trying to air dodge onto the ledge, and Masik obviously going to be able to scout that out and punish it accordingly. Game three on losers finals here. If Taike wins, he's going to be able to get the run back with Ken. Oh wait, no, I think Masa's the one that lost to Ken. Yeah, Masa lost to Ken, so if he loses here. He's going to be able to get the run back, so I'm sure he wants that very much. But Taike also, you know, I'm sure a Sonic fan wants to fight with the Ken of Japan himself. So we'll see who wins here. Both players, I'm sure, wants it very bad, but it's going to be Taike's stage pick here. And of course, Town and City is going to be a very good stage for Sonic, but also for Falco here. So I don't know. I kind of like the Town and City pick for both. This is like both of them can really get some good mileage off here. Yeah, definitely. 
I think with Sonic, a really cheeky kill is when the platforms of Town and City, they, when they try to return back to the side, if you get like that back throw as the stage is uh, like returning to the platforms, that's where you can get some good kills. Yeah, and Falco, of course, just a very good combo character on this stage with the height of the platforms and Falco's long jump. You see? Oh, I thought he was going to catch oh. Falco. Find the forward Zero air. to death? Oh, no. that's That should be zero to death. No, oh, no, he had a jump. He had a jump. And not going to time the back air accordingly. Also going to be able to get back on stage here and rack up 11.4% on the stock. But things are looking really grim for him right now. He needs to play this more patiently, but now he's going to be able to back, get back on center stage here. Okay, just playing it so safe. You know oh, he just walked up and uh, up tilt. What? Oh, walked nice. up slowly and up tilted. Oh, nice. Going to be able to call out the aggressive option off the stage. There! Oh, my God. Not going to be able to find it, though. Let's go for the grab. Misses. Back there would have been death for Masa here. Just going to barely get out of it. Tries to catch his landing with the force smash. Masa obviously going to be able to avoid that there. It would have been certain death. Now back to neutral here. Tiger's gonna try and probably approach here, but Masa's the one with high percent. So oh, I hit by a spin you see the back threat here. of Masa. This is, I love the patience of both players. Is Tiger? Wow, I guess lasers are really just being annoying here. But you can see that they're just giving each other so much respect. They're not oh, making bad gonna be able to confirm that into a spin uh, forward air. Now, Masa gonna be down an entire stock. Taike obviously just gonna start spin dashing onto the platform. So you're very good for Sonic on the stage. And now he's gonna be able to find a drag nice down. Drag Hold down. for the bear. Nice air dodge though. Make sure you from tech Taike. good here. Nice protect. Oh, now he's gonna find the Phantasm. Oh, no. you couldn't get it. A little bit too far for the back air here. Masa just needed that so bad, but Taike just surviving by a thread right now. Still at 112. Taka can obviously get a couple confirms here in this range to be able to kill, but not at a range to find raw kills off of down tilt yet. But Masa is playing it so safe, not trying to find out, throw out any. He's trying really to tack on some moves. extra damage. I wonder if Ooh. he's. Oh, he tried to take him across the. Oh stage. no, the jump's gone. It's tragic. Finds the back air. He's gonna have to phantasm again. Finds another back air, and that's gonna be death for Masa. Taka is taking away with this lead. Ouch! So big right now. Every time I'm trying to see if Masa can find a way to get a kill, it doesn't matter. Taike just ruins the... He comes and he gets the kill. He just cleans him off stage. He might do it again. Oh, no. He's finding that forward air so deep. He's going to need a Phantasm, but that side B and the Firebird is going to hit Taike here. He's going to find the Nair off stage. You got to play perfect here if you're Masa. You got to play perfect. He does, but we are on Town and City. This is where Falco's games come true. If the platforms align perfectly and the stars, then Masa's going to be able to find a big combo here. But Taike, of course, he's not going to make that easy on him. He's been playing the corners of the stage right now. And oh, finds an uptill here. Ooh, finds ooh, big. Ooh. Nice. Finds a couple hits. Oh, the air dodge. Not going to get punished, though. Oh, no, the rapid jab. He's going to get punished for that one. F tilt. Not going to get too much off of it. Also now playing under the platform. Wants Taika to approach. Oh no. Gonna be able to find anything off that. It's just so hard to try and find the right situations to punish oh, Sonic. Like you said, he committed to the up tilt. It didn't work out there. Oh no, the jump's gone. Has the Phantasm look back onto the stage. Gonna get punished by Taike. Not too hard finding the up air. Masa's now at kill percent. The back air is barely gonna miss. F tilt, now off stage. Phantasm, not gonna get punished. It's not over yet. Nah, but Taike definitely wants it to be over, but he's not overzealous with his approaches just yet. Playing this as patient as possible. Masa as well. He needs to find a dare or an up tilt to make up a lot of percent here on the stock. Ooh. He's going Lasers in is out of the stage. A Masa good way to center. get Sonic like to approach in the you. middle. Oh, oh. no. Nice. He's steaming right now at 148%, but you're going to get back to the ledge. Oh, nice. <laughs> going to be able to find the Phantasm if it's up air there. Nice. No way! That's not going to oh. kill just yet. Oh, he wants to go there. this. No, that's oh. going to be untouchable. Oh, wow. Just Taiki finding that aggressive option back to the stage, and he needs to take it 2-1. Wow. Taiki's just playing hot. He's, he's, he's playing really good. Yeah. Just clenching his heart right there. Definitely a heart racer to set, and congrats to him to make it into the grand finals. We have Sonic Sonic. We do have Sonic Sonic. <laughs> Are we going to see Incineroar? We might see the Ken Incineroar. The Ken Incineroar. Ken Incineroar. Yeah, but unfortunately, probably not going to come out, I'd imagine, especially against uh, respectable.